In an unprecedented move, the Council of Governors have come out to stand with one of their own who is being probed for alleged loss of county funds. Over 10 governors held a closed door meeting at Council's headquarters in Nairobi and resolved to criticize the manner the one graft is being handled by the anti graft agencies. Council's chairperson, Governor Joseph Nanok, accuses the anti graft agencies of being used by the national government to intimidate and harass county bosses in an attempt to divert attention from corruption in national government ministries. It is rather unfortunate that the national government is trying to avert attention from what is happening within the ministries, departments and agencies. The issue of sugar is something we should be discussing. The disappearance of NIS money is something we should be scrutinizing seriously. It is mischievous to call the media and publicly arrest a governor so that the public can forget about the rot in national government ministries, departments and agencies. This fight cannot be politicized and cannot be used selectively to target specific officers. Governors are heads of government and a war on corruption cannot be used to embarrass them. The governors arguing that Article 1 of the Constitution gives both levels of government sovereignty, therefore heads of both levels of government have immunity to civil and criminal proceedings. The council takes offense in the manner in which the Busia governor has been treated. The case being interrogated now of Busia County was one of a counter, counter fund in the budget, wherein a development partner put in resources in the project. And this was contained in the memorandum of understanding. Does it then mean that MOUs signed by the national government are legal, yet the ones signed by the county governments are illegal? The county bosses defending Governor Jamong from being held responsible of unaccounted funds now claim there are elements in the national government determined to derail devolution. As far as counties are concerned, there is more scrutiny on county budgets and expenditures. The last audited account for the counties are for year 2016 and 2017, while the last audited accounts for the national government are 20, for the year 2013 and 2014. If the national government is serious about fighting corruption, all audited reports and accounts must be approved by parliament with immediate effect. Governor Ojamong was arrested last week on Wednesday and freed on Friday, having spent two nights in the cells. Kevin Washira. Channel 1 News.